This is the largest vacuum cleaner you will ever see. But you can't use it in your home. Instead, it vacuums rocks on the sea floor. Before we tell you more, let's show you how it works. From the mothership called Hidden Gem, a vehicle named the Collector is lowered down to the bottom of the ocean. It weighs 90 tons, the same size as a minivan, so it should be held carefully. Once it's placed, operators from the control room take over the vehicle and start vacuuming the floor. But this cleaner is unique. Since it has four nozzles, it covers much more area than your usual cleaner and has sensors that adjust the position of nozzles according to the sea floor they're working on. And the only thing this robot does is suck up these rocks and push them up to the mothership, where these formations are stored in the dedicated hub. It's not the first time for this type of vessel to do such activities. In the past, the hidden gem was built to drill oil, but the company remade it into a flowing base for collecting sea rocks. On its first deployment, the ship managed to gather over 3,000 metric tons of material, starting its journey as a convenient seafloor sweeping company. But what's so special about these rocks that is worth reinventing the vacuum cleaner? There is a lot, actually. These seemingly small rocks hide something that our world needs today. Useful minerals such as nickel, cobalt, copper, and manganese. What's key to the future of, of civilization is storing energy. We're going to need batteries and we're going to need a lot of them because we can't afford to keep burning uh, fossil fuels like we have them. They're essential materials in building electric car batteries, wind turbines, and solar panels. And there are billions of tons of these valuable rocks in the ocean. This startup, the Metals Company, is about to deep mine them all. They also plan on extracting these rocks to nearby facilities that would melt and refine material into separate streams of useful materials, all buildings powered by renewable energy. But how did these materials end up in the rocks at the bottom of the sea? They're actually polymetallic nodules. If you cut one of these in half, you'll find they're shaped like a jawbreaker candy. They're actually sea objects, like a seashell, that fell down to the bottom of the ocean and stayed there for millions of years, allowing millimeters thick layers of useful materials to form on them. They can be found in flat and soft parts of the deep ocean, such as the clarion Clipperson zone, located between Hawaii and Mexico, about as wide as the United States. This is where the company is going to operate and start deep sea mining. He claims it will be much safer for the environment as opposed to regular mining, which destroys ecosystems, kills unique species, and devastates the land around. While it's true about regular mining, marine life is still an ecosystem companies are putting into grave danger. After all, there are dozens of creatures we haven't discovered and studied yet, living in the ecosystems that provide them with food and shelter. Deep sea mining might be just another way to devastate the marine ecosystem, which is already struggling with rapid climate change. With all things considered, it's necessary to research this before starting out big and avoid lifelong consequences.